Okay, this is Scott Elliott again, and I'm now going to take you through installing the live CD version of Ubuntu onto our virtual Ubuntu hard drive. So to do that here, um, we can get into the install program, double-clicking on that icon. And unfortunately the resolution here has it set up so that we're going to have to do some switching back and forth from the host to the uh, client. Remember it's the control alt key sequence that will help us do that. So right now we have selected the English install language. I'm going to hit control alt to switch back to the host so I can scroll down and then click back inside the client and click forward. Uh, step 2 of 7 here we can select whatever time zone you're in. I'm going to leave it in New York and click forward. US English forward. This is for our keyboard. It's now setting up the partition tables for us. Um, how do we want to partition the disk? I'm going to leave it guided. Notice this is the SCSI virtual hard drive that we set up to be about 4 gigabytes. Clicking forward for step 4 or 7. Setting up the partition tables. This is setting up the information about the user. So I'm going to type in my name. Keep that as my username. Choose a password. And this will be the name of the computer. You can leave that as its default. You can tell here what's happened. It's giving you some basic information on what's been set up. Notice that the hard drive, or virtual hard drive, we've got two partitions that were created. Um, one was set up to be just the file system for the root directory and all of its subfolders. And also we have another partition set up as swap space. And that's, that's what we want to have. So now for step 7 to 7, we can just click the install. And then we will just sit and wait for the installation to complete. Okay, looks like our installation has uh, finally completed here, so pop this open for us to see. This window tells us we could either continue using the live CD or we could restart now. Um, since we're in our virtual machine, I'm going to say continue using the live CD and I'm going to control alt to get out of the client and then come over here and shut down the guest Ubuntu operating system. I'm going to do this because I actually want to pop out the virtual ISO from the C virtual CD-ROM so you can go back in here tell it to use the physical drive now instead of an ISO image so actually it's going to share the uh, host CD-ROM drive with the client. So click OK and now if I start the virtual machine it should start and boot off of the virtual SCSI hard disk. So let's see what happens here. Here we have Ubuntu uh, loading up and it's again booting off of the hard drive, our virtual hard drive to which we just installed the Ubuntu operating system. This is the login screen. Um, again, due to the resolution that the default setting was at, I'm going to have to do a Control-Alt key sequence um, to come out here and actually get to the login area. Right, there we go. So let's see. You have to remember your username and your password. Move back over here so we can see the uh, menus. 
what we need to do is change the resolution so we don't have to keep scrolling around and so I can do that through system preferences screen resolution get out of this large screen size down to something a little more manageable I'm going to drop, due to my resolution, I'm going to drop it down to 800 by 600. And we can see that I've actually got the bottom and, and the top of the screen now all on one page. No scroll bars are appearing in the host operating system. Okay, so that concludes then the installation of a Ubuntu Live Linux CD onto our virtual host through VMware server.